the historic Galois Theater in downtown Springfield. It's time for the Mystery Hour. And now here is your host, Mystery Jack. Hi, everybody. How you doing? How you doing at home? Hey, we have a great show for you guys tonight. Emma Chapman from A Beautiful Mess is here. Yeah. We also have the music of the Shandies. The Shandies. And we have a great title sponsor, Big Whiskies. Check out this video we made for them. At Big Whiskey's, we believe that great food and drink accompanied by the perfect toast can bring anyone together. May we be the people who our dogs think that we are. I would rather be with the people in this room than the finest people I know. I'd rather be with my roller dance team preparing for regionals, to be perfectly frank, but Sammy the Splits broke his hamstrings off, and it's like here I am just hanging out with the not as cool people. <laughs> it's whatever, though. Sammy the, Sammy the Splits. Splits. Big Whiskey's American Restaurant and Bar. Yeah. All right. That's the special effects for tonight. <laughs> Speaking of special, look over here. It's Dave Smith. They finally installed that elevator for me. <laughs> I'm so happy for I mean, you. Me too. Thank you for putting the, yeah. for putting the uh, the what is it the the stamp of approval, the expedition expedition. That's a truck. Expediteness of it. Uh, thank you for pushing that through. Appreciate you. Love you. <laughs> Good night, everybody. He's just leaving. Two things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. Oh no. These things I've noticed. Yeah. I yeah. don't have my cards. Good thing there's a guy to bring them out for me. That's stepping through, trying not to wake sleeping kindergartners. And there is your second special effect. All right. <laughs> Things I've noticed. I've noticed that it's easy to tell which jeans are mine and which are my wife's in the laundry basket because mine aren't in there. <laughs> I'm wash them. You're not supposed to wash denim? All right. I've noticed that I really feel for those without empathy. It must be hard. I've noticed that there was no one at my intro to trolling class, and the doors were locked, so I went home. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I've noticed that younger people are like, remember flip phones? And I'm like, OK, but remember phone phones? <laughs> I've noticed that I know the bottom of my dress shirt is tucked into my pants, but I have no idea where on my body the bottom of my undershirt is at this point. <laughs> and finally, I've noticed that using sign language to say thank you is a nice gesture. <laughs> things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. Hey, um, another thing I've noticed is that I am happily married. I have a couple of kids, and, and my wife and I feel for people that 
miss romantic opportunities. They have a missed connection. So what we're going to do for you now as a public service announcement is read to you real missed connections from Craigslist. <laughs> These are things people wrote on Craigslist trying to find that person they maybe made eyes with or something. So here it is, missed connections. Craigslist missed You were working at the sprint stand at the mall with a DQ smoothie in your hand. You asked if I wanted a phone and seemed fixated on my blonde hair. You reminded me of an older, chubby Harry Potter. <laughs> Sorry for being vague, but don't want to give out your identity. You're 24 to 31. I noticed that you didn't shave your underarms or your legs, and I was surprisingly turned on by that. Craigslist! Misconnections. Went by to look for a dryer for my mom, and you caught me off guard. You were just staring. LOL, do I know you? Should I know you? I waved like an idiot. <laughs> we met on a flight to Dallas. After talking to you for just a little bit, I really wanted to get to know you more, but I didn't ask for your number. I regret that decision. Can we talk again? I'm the bald engineer. <laughs> Craigslist, misconnection. We were involved in a car accident a few years ago. <laughs> and I just keep thinking about you. I feel bad about what happened that day and would like to know how you're doing. And can I still grab that cup of coffee with you? <laughs> Describe the accident on your car so I know it's you. You saw me taking a photo of the decapitated pigeon outside the grocery store. <laughs> and stopped to show me where the head was. <laughs> you seem really neat, but you caught me at an awkward time. <laughs> and I didn't think to ask you if you wanted to possibly hang out sometime. Craigslist, misconnections. Last night, bus 26. Wanted you to know it was cool you talked to me, though we only talked about Mountain Dews. You did catch my attention, and I'd like to talk to you more. And yes, I'll share my Mountain Dew with you. LOL. Hope you read this. <laughs> You're a thick blonde. I've checked you out many times, <laughs> mostly driving by, but also on my bicycle and walking. <laughs> I know your man went to jail on the 4th or 5th. <laughs> Craigslist misconnections. That's Craigslist misconnections. We'll be right back. That comedy bit brought to you by Bush, Ramlow, and Shore, CPAs, accountants, funny. Guest booking provided by Gig Salad. Additional sponsorship provided by Big Whiskey, official American restaurant and bar of the Mystery Hour. Welcome back, everybody. We have a great guest tonight. We also have a great guest sponsor. Bop! The History Museum on the Square. If you like old things that aren't people, it's there. <laughs> kind of rhymed. That rhymed, I guess? An arrhythmic rhyme. 
Hey, we have a great guest tonight. She does real, like, legitimate things, so I gave a horrible introduction just now for that part. But she's a real professional with a beautiful mess, and she wrote a new cookbook. Please put your hands together for Emma Chapman. Emma! I've brought you a cookbook. Here is the cookbook. No, Look at know. that, a beautiful mess, weekday weekend. Yes, so it was, we, we were working on the cookbook, so I wrote it with my sister, Elsie, who's not here, because mm -hmm. she's in China adopting her first daughter with her husband, yeah. That's a good reason. So, very good reason, yeah, but I know, right? As we were working on it, I kept calling it Weekday Weekend because it kind of has to do with the concept. Yeah. And I was like, don't worry, that won't be the title. It's too hard to say. I said that to everyone. <laughs> and, and we never came up with a better name. <laughs> so, so here it is. Here it is. Yeah. So weekday to go backwards, weekend. though, um, you, you're a big deal, but not <laughs> everyone knows that, which is interesting, like, because I um, say I'm a big deal and try and get people to believe it. You are a big deal, but don't tell everyone, in the sense that A Beautiful Mess, your website, mm -hmm. is a huge deal in the world. What do you call that, what do you call that world? What would you call it? Uh, I think most people call it the internet. <laughs> <laughs> it's after flip phones, it was. Flip phones, <laughs> then the internet. Hipster crafting, would you call it that? Hipster crafting, yes. We are big in the hipster crafting world. <laughs> what do you do guys call it? Things. What do you guys call it? What do you call it? I like to say we're just two steps below Martha Stewart. Two steps but below Martha Stewart. It's probably more like 20 steps, but right. it's two steps. <clears throat> so prison? <laughs> that was one time. It's coming up. She came out of it. So. It's coming up. But you guys, uh, you make things, create things. You, uh, cookbooks and that sort of thing. So it's like people that are interested in creating things. Yes, yes. So really, if you are into hipster crafting, legitimately, you will love our site, abeautifulmess.com. Because it is all about crafting and cooking and lifestyle things. Anything you can do at your house, because we don't like to leave our homes. Right. <laughs> you could have said that right away. All right. Um, but, uh, but you guys get, um, it's not just like a, oh, we have a little blog or something. You guys get like a couple million visitors a month on it or something like yeah, that, right? Yeah, we do. That's legit. Okay. There. You're legit. Cookbook. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. So mistake. tell me what's in this cookbook. What makes this cookbook okay. this cookbook? So the reason it has its name Weekday Weekend, mm -hmm. which is hard to say, but I think it fits because it's more than just a cookbook. So it, it is a cookbook. It has recipes. It'll tell you how to make things. Yep. It has pictures of food but also it is a healthy eating challenge. So yeah. it challenges you to eat by five rules for five days a week, weekdays, mm -hmm. and then on the weekend, you get to kick back and enjoy some treats. And the cookbook has recipes for both of those um, throughout. How do you come up with recipes that aren't already out there? You know what I mean? Like, Well, I start with I love, love, love to eat. Mm -hmm. And I think about my next meal constantly. Like when I go to bed at night, I'm thinking about what I want to eat the next day. Don't act like you don't do this, okay? <laughs> right. And if I have something amazing somewhere and I think like, oh, I wonder if, you know, I could make that but with these ingredients or with this flavor or whatever. Yeah, just kind of with a twist. Yeah. It's probably like writing jokes. Maybe easier, maybe harder. I don't know. I don't know. I've never written jokes. Now they're But <laughs> you have to come up with them. And they come from somewhere, and it's probably you think about them all the time. Yeah. And you're obsessed with it, and I'm obsessed with eating. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, it's perfect. And uh, we're going to make something. Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> so you have something for us to make. Yes. Okay. And you're in luck because it's a weekend one. So we're going to make a treat. A treat. And not just some healthy stuff. OK, so. let's go to the kitchen. Yes. All Thank right. you, boys. Thank you for bringing out our kitchen. All right, so we have a bunch of different ingredients, and then you just put them together? Exactly. <laughs> That's how cooking works? Yes. You do What's it. the first step here? So what we're going to make, this is called a double chocolate surprise 
brownies. Okay. So we're going to see what the surprise is. What do you think the surprise is? You already told me, but I don't want to say. <laughs> All right, well, we'll let them find out. Okay. So we'll start with our dry ingredients. I'm going to uh -huh. put you in charge of eggs, but first okay. we have cocoa. Let me see, I got my cheat sheet. Two thirds cup cocoa, um, three fourths cup flour. Uh huh. We're going to need to put two eggs in there. Okay. I like to crack them into a different bowl. That way, if you get the little shell, you can right. get it out before that. And just put it in there? Two, yep. Two eggs. Um, someone has cooked before. That's legitimately all that I know how to do. That was very good, though. Thank all you. Right, Where so do you wipe the salmonella? <laughs> All right. Okay. It's not uh, ours. <laughs> okay. One third cup melted butter. Melted butter. And you let it cool a little bit. Okay. Then we have a fourth a cup granulated white sugar and okay. a fourth a cup brown sugar. So much sugar. Both I, flavors. But look at the tiny. Look at this tiny. That's bowl. awesome. No, it's not, I'm not it's complaining so about it. Sugar. It's a weekend thing. Do you feel like, I feel like people don't value brown sugar the way they should. I agree. It's so much better than regular sugar. The times sugar. we live in, right? So. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. <laughs> so, all right, so we also need a fourth a teaspoon salt and half a teaspoon baking powder. You got it? This is baking powder? Mm-hmm. That's both of them. Together. I didn't have enough tiny bowls. Bold. <laughs> all right. Ooh. And now for the surprise, which is one whole zucchini. It's That's a zucchini! Surprise. Zucchini surprise. So it's kind of a... Surprise! Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like zucchini bread, but mixed with brownies. Can That's you imagine if you walked in and someone threw a surprise party for you and they walk in and they're like, we have surprise. zucchinis! Zucchinis! They're like strung up everywhere. Yeah. And they're like, this is the theme. I'd be okay. Like, hmm. uh, <laughs> well, and then if you, you mix like, it up. you can... Um, Blend up the zucchini in a food processor first or through a cheese grater. Okay. Or uh, you can just do that. Okay. okay. So, so you put that. this in. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yep. You mix it all up and then mm -hmm. you're going to bake it at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. And I like to do the toothpick test. Okay. <laughs> you're going to do it? Okay. Mmm. Mm. Just like Martha Stewart. But in the end, we have candies for the top. But in the end, we end up with some zucchini bread. And there's zucchinis in brownies. there. A whole zucchini. All right. Well, that's, that's perfect timing, because it's time for us to eat this and go to commercial. Oh. We'll see ya. <laughs> Guest travel and accommodations provided by Hotel Vandevoort. Systematic Savings Bank. Official bank of the mystery hour. Big Fish Screen Printing, official t-shirt provider of the Mystery Hour. Tonight's musical guest brought to you by Bear Village. Hey, we have a great musical guest coming up next and they have an awesome CD. Check it out, it's the Shandies.
Great job. Great job. That was awesome. The Shandies. Hey, that's our show tonight. 10% of our box office proceeds goes to the Lost and Found Grief Center. We'll be back next week. We'll see you next week. Let's do that. Let's play on it. Let's play on it. Catering provided for the Mystery Hour by Big Whiskies.